tonight for the U.S. Navy and a military contractor to take responsibility for a toxic underground plume on Long Island. This comes after radioactive elements were found in the groundwater. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose has more. Work crews have now drilled a nearly 700 foot deep groundwater monitoring well in Wontaw in Nassau County. They're checking for toxic contaminants that officials say are now the unwelcome legacy of the former Grumman Aerospace plant in neighboring Bethpage. We need to speak with one voice if we are to hold a uh, polluter accountable. State Environmental Commissioner Basil Sagos stood with elected officials and the heads of several water districts in the path of a toxic plume they say can be traced to Grumman's military work for the Navy post-World War II. The responsible parties, Grumman and Navy, have created delays far too long allowing this plume to continue to migrate. Just a few months ago, elevated levels of radium were detected in the groundwater beneath Bethpage High School. The school is right across the street from Grumman's former property before it was turned into a park. The school gets its drinking water elsewhere, but residents are outraged. It all stems from Grumman and the Navy dumping all their chemicals right back here in the community park where there's no more softball field back there. The park's softball field was closed and is now overgrown with weeds. Only recently did the company's corporate parent, Northrop Grumman, acknowledge it had handled radium on site. The state commissioner says there will be a full-scale investigation. We're going to have to interview people that used, used to work at the facility. I mean, my job isn't to trust. My job is to, is to verify. Northrop Grumman says it's already spent millions installing test wells, even though there's no definitive proof the radium came from its former site. Meanwhile, officials insist the heavily filtered water is safe to drink. In Nassau County, Richard Rose, TV 1055. Well, the Navy tells us it never handled radium at the Grumman site. The state environmental commissioner says legal action is possible to recoup millions spent filtering the water.